what's up guys a uh, review today it's going to be on the Tobe Atomizer clone there it is uh, got this on eBay for around 35 bucks uh, it was actually a pre-order uh, it didn't even take that long it took me about a week to receive it after I ordered it so um, I kind of lucked out when jumping on the pre-order to receive it um, but yeah guys uh, so here it is um, it's got the nice uh, top portion of the top cap that comes out and it gives you that nice big well to uh, drip into and then the barrel comes off as well to expose the deck and uh, make it easier to build on well so you can build on it I don't think anyone can do a build with the barrel on it. Um, I, uh, I've been pretty happy with it uh, the negative posts you know milled into the deck that's pretty cool um, when I first got it uh, the positive post was angled differently so I had to uh, untighten the connection and uh, straighten it out and then tighten it back up and uh, I haven't really had a problem um, I've been using this for about a week though so that's not to say that it won't start spinning um, I don't know what manufacturer this is from I had the box that it came in but I left it at home so uh, you know I just, just decided to do the video without it but um, you know the box isn't from a manufacturer I've seen before so I don't know who makes this um, when I put the link down in the description as to where you can get one I don't know if it'll be this same one um, but like I said where I got it you guys can always go on eBay and look it up um, but for $35 it, it's it's pretty good I, I like it um, it seems like a solid little atomizer uh, the top portion here of the top cap with the uh, heat sink style thing going on and then in there it's got that uh, kind of like a bowl effect in there so um, it, it's pretty close to the authentic um, the o-rings on here are nice and snug I mean it gives you a nice positive click um, one thing is that when you first put the the top portion of the top cap on there is a little gap between the barrel and the the cap so what I've been doing is I've just been giving it like a little spin afterwards and that kinda you know snugs it down to the barrel a little bit um, build I have in here same build I always do it's just some uh, micro coils with cotton I, that build always works for me and it's simple so uh, but it's firing nice it's at around point point two seven I believe so um, I'll go ahead and drip a little bit on here we'll take a few vapes and uh, we'll go down into the close-up It fires nice. Um, it gives out a, a good amount of vapor. Uh, down in the close-up, I'll show you the the bottom of it and uh, what the the connection looks like and all that. But um, for 35 bucks, guys, I, I think it's a good 
atomizer to get if you choose to get it off eBay. Um, I know that Fast Tech just got theirs in. Um, it's definitely not the same size on Fast Tech. They're saying it's like 21 millimeter and some change. Um, so, I don't know. But this one, it seems to be good quality and uh, I've been happy with it so far. Um, so yeah guys, uh, we'll go into the close up and uh, I'll show you some more of it. Alright guys, so here is the close up of the Tobe Addy clone. Um, as you can see there on the top cap, it's got the engraving. Actually, very nice engraving. Uh, it's, or you know what, it's more laser etched, but um, it looks spot on. Uh, got your airflow on both sides. And then your top portion of the top cap there that comes out is like a heat sink and it makes it easier to drip it gives you a nice big well to drip in bow rings are nice everything fits in there nice and neat um, give you a close up of the deck I got a build in here right now but uh, as you can see the center post is uh, higher than the negative post that's how the authentic is too the negative post if you can see that milled into the deck there should have took this build out or at least the cotton out before I did this but yeah, I'm sorry guys um, nice thick o-rings to uh, grip the top cap if you can hear that nice positive click um, you got the airflow control fins right there on either side so this is a, a pretty nice uh, Addy to build on and it is really close to the original um, I'll go ahead and take it off the Nemesis and uh, show you the bottom of it I've been using it on my Nemesis because it looks the best on there um, so here's the bottom it says Tobe Mods version 1 2014 and then the serial number on there which is 169 it uses a uh, copper contact um, it's been really conductive it's been fire and nice I'll uh, fire it for you guys in a second I just wanted to show you the base of it so yeah there's the base or the bottom and again the there's an up close view of the laser etching. Alright, guys, I'll uh, go ahead and put this back on the mod and we'll fire it. Got juice everywhere. <laughs> One second. Alright, sorry, guys. I'm going to be getting a Caravella again real soon. I think this thing will look really good on a Caravella too. So, my build. And, uh, so yeah guys, there it is. There's the up-close view of the Tobe Atomizer, T-O-B-H, whatever I don't even really know how to 
what the proper pronunciation of the name is, but uh, there it is, the clone. Take a quick vape and then uh, we'll go back up and uh, I'll show you some more. So there was the close up of the Tobe Atomizer clone. Um, it it's pretty good uh, to be totally honest though I really thought I was gonna like it more um, I thought I would I don't know I, I just thought I, I expected a little more from it and it's just you know other to in my opinion other than the negative posts being milled into the deck, which was honestly the main selling point for me. That was the biggest reason why I got this atomizer. Um, it's really nothing new. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't want anyone getting pissed off at me or, you know saying I'm an idiot or whatever I mean in my opinion my personal fucking opinion it's nothing I haven't seen before I mean the Patriot has a similar top cap with the same idea as the heat sink thing um, I will say that this one works more because the grooves are cut in way deeper than the Patriot so it disperses heat a lot better um, but I mean, if you chain vape, especially with a, a pretty hot build, you know, in the lower spectrum of the sub ohm, it, it's going to get hot, you know what I mean, no matter what. So that heat sink will only work to a certain extent, but uh, it does work a little better than the Patriot. Um, but, uh, you know, and the other cool thing about it is you can take this top portion off and it gives you a deeper well to drip in to kind of prevent over dripping but at the same time because the holes where they're at I mean if you over drip I, I've been having juice leak out of the holes anyways and then just run down the side so I mean it doesn't really help all that much but um, you know it's still it's a good atomizer and for the price you pay it does its job and it does it well so I mean if if you're having trouble finding an authentic tobe or you just don't want to put the money down on an authentic tobe which you know a hundred and ten dollars for a drippers kind of steep in my opinion um, you know just get a clone uh, I mean I you know that's uh, that's why I got the clone is because I didn't want to drop a hundred and ten dollars on an authentic one and I don't know I I haven't personally seen this but I have heard on a couple occasions that someone who's you know dropped their atomizer these little fins right here uh, on someone that I knew that dropped his they broke they like snapped off uh, I haven't personally seen it but I have heard that on a couple separate occasions so and that was on an authentic one so I mean now you know not everyone I mean you're not gonna just go out and throw your mod around and drop it and all that and I mean you know we try our best to to take care of our shit but at the same time shit does happen you know I mean accidents happen so I mean it's it's a little disappointing that that would happen on an authentic, but I mean, you'd figure that they would kind of make the, the steel a little thicker or at least a better grade that 
wouldn't break like that, but, I mean, I don't know, it, it is what it is, so, um, I'm just rambling now, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this has been the Tobe Dripper, I'll take another couple vapes and then we'll call it a video. There it is, guys. Um, until the next time, keep on vaping. And uh, feel free to ask me questions, leave me comments, whatever you guys want to do. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to mention, the FDA has struck a new proposal. Um, I guess after May 25th, they're going to make modders and anybody who makes electronic cigarettes uh go through a specific uh, test to the FDA specifications, um, you know, as far as making mechanical mods, variable voltage mods, variable wattage mods, um, atomizers, all that stuff. Uh, from what I hear, modders are going to have to go through their specifications to make it and have to uh, fill out, like... I guess consent forms from them in order to make a new mod uh, I will post a link in the description as to where you can go and sign this petition uh, we need a hundred thousand signatures by May 25th um, I believe it's 96,000 and some change as far as signatures go to call it good uh, last I checked we had around 3,000 signatures so uh, I'll post a link down below um, so you guys can go sign this petition. Um, I don't know exactly what their plans are to, to fuck with modders. I, I think it's bullshit. I'm pretty sure we all think it's bullshit. Um, I don't exactly know if it's true that they're gonna, you know, exactly what they're gonna do, but, you know... Just go sign the petition just in case. I'll post the link down below. Fucking phone, man. And you guys can go check it out. Until the next time, uh, keep on vaping, guys, and uh, take it easy.